Quoting Esther Perel, a Belgium-American psychotherapist, there are many people you will love and they are not necessarily the same people you will make a life with. Are you looking for a love story or are you looking for a life story? Your beliefs, patterns and programs are based on the fairy tale stories conveyed to you from childbirth to adulthood and they are integrated in your subconscious mind. Everywhere you are targeted with these concepts, as they are in the films that you watch, the music you listen to, and the magazines and books you read. Are you following the collective's model of relationships? Or are you open to explore a new way of seeing life and challenge the way you perceive your relationships in general? Check some of our episodes on this trilogy so for full integration of this concept. But for the purpose of this video and its content, we will use John as your main fictitious character. And in this story, Paula is going to be his supporting role. So let's begin. Now, I would like to start by bringing in the Divine Masculine Energy qualities and Divine Feminine energy qualities. So no gender specific because we all have these two energies within us. So I will be calling Divine Masculine DM and I'll be calling Divine Feminine DF. So what is a Divine Masculine energy? Quality, active, action taker, doer, provider, external, safety, go-getter and protective. So we have all these qualities here and there are many more available. I mean, there's, there's many more in a divine masculine energy, but these are just for your um, awareness purpose that, you know, some, these are some of the qualities that we will be working with today. Now, a divine feminine energy is more passive, uh, loving, um, action taker as well, but more on a creative side, intuitive, so she go inwards, nurturing, healing and caring. Like I said, please, please feel free to research more qualities if you want to expand on this subject. So why am I um, giving you these qualities to... Um, so we're going to dissect a divine masculine based relationship. And here we have, we're following John's journey. So John is a builder, very successful one, but his dream is to be a landscaper. So John has decided to take a turn in life. He's very successful and, you know, he's comfortable. So he wants to um, explore his dream and see if he can move career and move from a builder to um, a landscaper. But for that, he needs to acquire new skills. But he's looking for a partner that also uh, supports him on his journey. And he's very well uh, aware of what he wants. And he's going to be working in this time uh, on his divine masculine energies. So he's going to look for a relationship that where he is more the divine masculine, um, it's going to be a divine masculine centered relationship. So for that, he needs to find someone who has a divine feminine energy uh, at the core. And in this case, John finds Paula. She finds Paula, he finds Paula very attractive. And he finds that Paula has the qualities of a divine feminine, like we mentioned before, um, that he requires. I'll just recap. So you remember someone who's very loving, someone who's very caring, uh, someone who's very supportive, um, someone who's very um, intuitive, um, he's looking for someone who's a little bit more uh, passive in a sense of not so much uh, um, action taker in a sense of like really, you know, divine masculine, someone more feminine, I'd say. Um, because obviously we, we're working on um, Paul's, uh, John's relationship. Now, John wants to uh, explore more his divine masculine energies in this relationship. Why? Because he's go he's gonna go from being a full-time builder to a landscaper. 
Now, if you look at the qualities of the Divine Masculine mentioned before, if John is in his Divine Masculine energy, he's going to be focused on this goal, which is to become a landscaper. He's going to take action, kind of immediate action. He's going to be um, a go-getter. And he's going to be quite rational about it, if we think, because that's another quality that we have um, of the Divine Masculine. So he's going to be more using his... Um, he's going to be more mind-focused, not so much emotional, uh, emotion-focused. So he needs someone that embodies a divine feminine energies in very supportive ways. So when John explores this side of him as he moves from a builder to a landscaper, there is a dynamic that he's creating here within this relationship. So uh, for today's video, for the purpose of today's video, we are only um, being aware of what kind of relationship he's deciding to go into and what kind of person uh, that he is attracted to and he's accepting as uh, a partner in, in his life in this moment in time. So what we want today is to make you aware of that so you can start having new concepts, new ways of looking into your relationships. So right in the beginning when you meet someone and you're attracted to them, you can, if you have this in mind and you are aware of these qualities, you, you can make much more empowered decisions and you can make much, you can achieve um, better goals and, and have better relationships with your partners. So basically that's all it is for today and I do hope um, this will resonate with you or at least you find some interest in, um, in checking what, you know, our content because we will be exploring this um, subject extensively. So for now, remember to give us your feedback if you find that we are the right community and this content resonates with you. Leave a note in the comments box if you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions. We would love to hear from you. For more content, visit our website and follow us at any of our social media platforms. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.